In this tutorial I'm going to talk to you about the second last stage of the accounting process and that is to do the final balance day adjustments before we are ready to determine our accurate profit in our income statement and to publish the balance sheet as part of our financial reports that we have to publish at the end. The important thing is to report an accurate profit. Before we can do that we must define um, what period of time we're going to use to report that profit on. Now in accounting there's this thing called an accounting period assumption. Basically what it means is that we divide the life of the business into arbitrary time periods. For our purposes uh, we always imagine that it's going to be from the 1st of July to the 30th of June the next year that it, ha it also happens to be the taxation or the financial year when the income tax is determined and for our purposes of our uh, exercises our financial year or our accounting period always ends at the 30th of June every year. Okay. Now you would know from previous exercises when we t t talk about t profit it's the difference between revenue and our expenses. The thing that uh, that I want to stress to you is that they must be accurately presented. In order for that to happen, there's another principle that accountants abide by, which is the matching principle. Let's examine that a bit closer. Profit is obtained by matching the revenue for that period with the expenses incurred in earning that revenue. So all the expenses that relate to a particular revenue that was earned in that and in a particular accounting period have to be matched up otherwise we're going to get an inaccurate profit recording. Before we go further I have to talk to you in a bit more detail about revenue itself. There's a number of principles involved w when we talk about revenue. The first one is recognizing the revenue. When do we recognize the revenue? When it is earned or indeed when cash is received. Generally in our accounting system we, we look at the revenue when it's earned, not when it's realised. Now realising the revenue meaning when you actually get the cash and there's a difference between the two. So let me give you an example. If I put some cash in the bank for in the term deposit for six months um, and after four months someone says to me how much revenue have you earned and you will say well it depends on which basis I do my accounting if it's based on cash accounting so you, you go along with the cash realization principle it means that you've earned none as yet because you haven't got any cash received now alternatively if you use the recognition of revenue uh, principle then you and, and then up to four months, after four months, you have already earned some revenue um, even though you haven't received the cash. Now this principle is called the cruel accounting principle. So in summary, it recognizes the impact of the transactions when they occur, not when the cash flow. If I can come back to my earlier example when I invested some money into the bank on a term deposit is when I earn the revenue on a month to month basis is when it is going to be recognized not when I finally get paid after I have invested that money for the term of six months so that is in, in, in principle the accrual accounting assumption so now that I've clarified when we recognize our revenues and the fact that we need to match our revenues with expenses it's these principles that we apply to the thing we call balance day adjustments. What are they? The entries made on balance day in order to match the correct revenues with associated expenses so the accurate profit can be determined. That's really important. So that's obviously the matching principle uh, that we complete on balance day and that's why they're called balance day adjustments. And there are a number of balance day adjustments that you need to learn. The first ones are accrual. So this is something that has accumulated or accrued or owed but not yet 
uh, paid or received. First type is what we call an accrued expense. So in that instance, there's a expense that is recognized, like or must be recognized, but the cash hasn't been paid. On the opposing side, we've got revenues which we've earned but not yet received, and that was according to my earlier example um, relating to my accrued revenue relating to the interest that I invested for the term deposit. Another type of balanced adjustments are prepayments. So there are instances where um, payments are made in advance and that's for various reasons. Um, the first type is prepaid expenses. Now an example there is insurance because they have to pay for insurance premium in advance. So that means that there is, um, when that coincides or, or overlaps another accounting period, we have to account for that amount of prepayment um, so we can get an accurate profit for insurance, for example. And there's another type of um, prepayment that occurs on the revenue side. Um, if I have a, um, a, a property, uh, rent is always paid in advance, so if I receive in advance, I haven't yet earned it, so then again I must make an adjustment. Um, all those four types of balanced day adjustments, I must show you in a, another uh, tutorial later on exactly how to do the accounting for it, but this particular tutorial was designed to give you the principles and the background um, to balance day adjustments.